So and welcome to another video and today, today we've got something a little bit different. Today we're taking the Rooting 60HE, which is a decent keyboard, and we're going to pimp it out to the max. We're going to make it a $600 keyboard by using some GMK Space Cadet 2 keycaps. We've also got the Blade 60 base and some other peripherals, like customized rear tape. This thing is going to be sick, yo! Anyway, if you want to see the full stream, it's on Twitch. This is a cut down version on YouTube here, and I also do some nice mods and things. If you're only on Twitch, I'm streaming it live. So if you're not already over there, go check me out as well. And let's get on with it. So we've got the rooting keyboard, some Space Cadet 2s. These were pricey from GMK. Look pretty good though, looks like they'll go with it pretty nicely. Uh, I've got some extra bits. I think this is the right box, so we've got a few of them at the minute. Some uh, stabilizers. <laughs> like a foam for it, but custom one you can print. Oh, it's pretty mint. More gaskets, I think. Looking at that. What are you think? Internal. I think it's a Blade 60. Could be wrong though. I'll have to check in a sec. 60% keyboard housing for it. This cable for it. And eyes blue. Hard to find cables. Should be pretty nice, hopefully. Oh, and then we've also got traditional cup of tea, which I still haven't got a fridge, so the milk's just about right. And I've got a Lucas Head Sporty. Is this what it sounds like stock? Let's unbox this puppy properly. Let's unbox this stuff properly. We got so this is the Blade 60. Toolkit. More fun. Going nowhere. Uh, these keycaps alone are something like two hundred, I think. So these things better feel nice. <laughs> I mean, the feel, they feel all right. They feel like 200 quid's worth, probably not. I think about 150 standard. So, we've got to take this puppy apart. The keys aren't too bad, I can't think of. Yeah. not that bad. The stock. They have a slight bit of texture on them, you can tell. They're not bad for a uh, stock. Keycap pulling man, oh my dears. It's like never ending. Like, 
Could be more put together, man. They've even got like a, got a gasket down the middle between the two. This is good for the money, this keyboard, when we start taking it apart. I feel like that. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty nice foam in there. I don't know I thought it was going to be. Look at that. Don't screw it up. This is some nice foam, eh, man? It's double foamed. This is why it sounds nice. This is like. So they kept the price down a bit. I guess give people a bit of a what they're trying to do. I guess to give people a bit of a I guess a bit of an option where they get the cheaper option, which obviously that is. And if you want to upgrade it, you can, which is kind of a good idea from so people who are, can't afford five hundred dollars or whatever it is can actually uh, use the keyboard, which is cool. These screw holes are okay. Here, here, here. The only one that isn't got a screw point is here. Have a look. No screw hole, but see the hole there? It's the Blade 60 case. It came with these, which I presume are the standoffs. Really. Standoffs. Whatever that is, some Allen key for the get screw them together. Some little rubber feet for it. Which look a bit high. And then obviously some little little nuts. And then you've got these little ones as well, which look like these are foam, these are ones are metal. Dunno. So it looks like these fit in here. Although there's five, so we've got a spare maybe. And then maybe these okay, I get it, I get it. So these fit in here, like that. One on one, one on bottom, one on top. And then there's the spaces that allow this to sit in here like so. There you go. And we've got a new gasket. Like I said, um, some more gaskets. Probably don't need them. I kind of bought them as a bit of an extra, but we can take it apart and take a look at this gasket maybe. I think what we'll do is we'll put it together and then we'll swap out the gasket. So that's now in. So we'll try it without any padding. Get an idea what it sounds like, I think. Let's just check the USB C lines up. And yeah, it does. Good. And these screw holes line up. There's none down the front of the keyboard, and that's gonna cause a problem bit of rocking, but shouldn't do. I'm not sure it's going to make it like that. I'm assuming it won't. We'll find out. Alright, 
so it's got a little bit of flex because of that non-mounting point on this beta's keyboard at the front. See it? Okay. Because there's no mount point there, there's no screw mount point. So it's only here, it's a bit of a shame so. All is gone. For now. Here we go. Do you see what it looks like lit up? Obviously, it's not really green cable, but. You know what, actually, it doesn't look too bad at RGB. I kind of like it, the blue and white like that. That looks pretty, uh, pretty nice, man. Doesn't it? I kind of like that. It looks pretty nice, man. Right, let's get these out. These are stabilizers, isn't it? Stock ones. Bit of plan. Right, is the stabs on the back. You can see the magnets you're talking about the switches. We're looking at lube then, so lube inside, like, like inside here. Right, it's properly lubed up now, yeah? Lubed beyond belief. Right, the next one shouldn't be as challenging, I hope. Jesus. Days, there we go. Finally, kind of like extra lube fingers now. Right, put the phone back on. So put this foam on. Try it. Put the tape mod on. Try that. You reckon? We put the foam in the back of the cases. All this stuff. So. 
Alright, see this, this is if it's worth it, because that's quite a bit of effort just to lube them up, do you know what I mean? This is what it sounds like, you ready? So it's got stabilizer been lubed, it's got foam in it now. I tell you what these keycaps though, there is no wobble. That could be why it's worth it. Let's do the tape mod. So we've got this thing for the tape mod. So I managed to get this as well. From, uh, I think K, uh, KBD board, K, uh, keyboard mod, what it's called. It's custom tape. But I've chopped the B off, but I'll put this on it. It looks pretty nice lit up, so we'll, uh, let's get the tape mod out. Put this puppy in. Wish me luck. Pretty cool. So you see you get a little bit of flex, I find. But like I say, maybe it makes it a bit more comfy people working, so. Quite a bit to get that flex out of it to be fair, but right, you ready? Let's see what she sounds like. Bad. So it sounds like compared to like, I don't know, uh, Gatoron Browns on this X K5, sorry. 